interesting statement we were hoping to get out of today is um, we were looking at specific assessment objectives um, for the IGCSE in English. They're assessment objectives that are normally quite difficult to evidence. These assessment objectives were um, specifically uh, speaking and listening and um, looking at how uh, candidates interact and communicate with each other and trying to get hold of um, evidence that would um, lo look at how, how these sorts of interactions happen. The other side of what's going to happen today is that we're using a completely new system. Um, we've been working um, in conjunction with the Technology Educational Research Unit at Gold Goldsmiths University, who've already developed this system whereby they use um, hand handset devices to capture a variety of different digital media, including videos, including um, photographs, text-based information, audio files. So during the process, students will be um, in, involved in inputting this information into the handsets, and then that's all uploaded onto an e-portfolio, sort of like in a classroom environment, whilst the activity is happening. These mobile devices is very much a young person's world. The teachers are a bit nervous about it, the, the students generally love it, um, and they're very comfortable and familiar with it. Um, but I'm, in a way, more interested in the, the teaching and learning benefit that arises out of this. Uh, and, and that comes from the way we've structured the activities. We try to develop this activity specifically for the IGCSE English, and um, so, so we'll, what, we, what we looked at was a holistic activity, but the holistic activity was divided down into a series of subtasks, and the subtasks were time-framed in that um, the students were told more or less, you know, what they had to do, uh, given source materials, act to sort of ask to respond in um, a variety of different ways, but within a certain time frame. And at the end of that time frame, they knew they had to input the information and upload the information. So throughout the day, um, this was the process. Um, it was pretty fun we had to talk about the WWF and how its role plays in today's world with the climate change apparently in a red coming crisis. And we used the, I used a device which um, gave us a multiple choice of way of how writing. Once you get used to it, it's really quick to use and it saves all your information automatically so you can't lose it, like on a computer. Um, that it's quick, pretty easy to use, like once you know how. So I think it would make it easier for people that find it difficult to write for ages and then it would be able to help them and multiple choice, I think it would be a lot easier. It saves your data straight away, so with a normal computer today, if you have a Word document and, it shut, and your computer shuts down and you've lost it, and there's not always a recovery system, but with this, well, as soon as you've done your sentence, it will send it to your e-portfolio. So, the most exciting thing for me about this whole eScape project is the potential it opens up for a radically different model of assessment. The the e-portfolio stuff changes practice in the classrooms and the studios. That's kind of exciting at the classroom end. I think although the focus at the beginning was and still is an assessment focus, it's quite clear that we have a fan this is a fantastic curriculum tool and rather than just giving the authoring tools to um, examiners uh, and assessors I'm quite excited by the prospect of teachers having control of the authoring tools and being able to generate learning activities, differentiated learning activities for young people in the classroom. For me, um, I think the, 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 the thing that was the sort of the starring moment um, was the feedback that we got from the students at the end. The, the feedback was really high quality feedback. They really thought about the activities, they thought about you know, what could be improved, um, what could be done differently. Um, they'd all engaged with the technology fully and um, I think out of it, um, uh, you know, the, the technology group and also from uh, an educational point of view, there's a, a lot of information we can take forward to, um, to build into the system into the future, so I think that was absolutely superb.